Sheree said I did a slam from me to Ronnie. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, as always, for tuning in to Public Freakouts Unleashed. This is our latest installment in the Don't Fly Frontier saga, right? Choose another airline if you can help it. And this operations manager for Frontier was caught on video very recently, actually, uh, flipping his lid at these frustrated passengers. And guys, between the terrifying Boeing Max stuff and the absolute chaos we've seen at airports the last couple of months, might be a good year to stay on land. I will call the police. Okay. How is that the answer? How is, that how, how is this? We the are busy. Then come. Busy. Hey, then come tell Liar. us you're busy. Liar. How did I know? We don't know what's going on. Just communicate. Communicate with your employees. Okay, hey. Okay, if, if, if somebody comes out and says, hey, we're busy, we'll be. This isn't even my job. I'm in operations. All good. All good. Who works here so, like this? Any, any frontier employee could come tell us. Any frontier employee. Well, from the jorts to the thong sandals to the tucked in football t shirt, this guy is the whole package and makes a complete character of himself when he feels his time isn't being respected at McDonald's. Where the f is the drinks? <laughs> What's taking so long? Jesus Christ! No! I just want the drinks! I paid the money. Okay, this one is fascinating. This girl and her friend caught a phenomenon that I, again, I find fascinating, right? So there is a subgroup of my fellow men out there who are, let's be real, very socially awkward. No riz to be seen. And they don't have a lot of luck with girls, so they go on the internet and they try to learn about, like, how to go hit on random girls and score their number. But they watch these videos and they go out and, like, harass random women like this and then they get super visibly bitter and insecure when they get shut down trying to do this guys girls don't want to get picked up at panera bread i know you've been through a lot obviously but um i think you but I also think you should listen too, because when I tell you I really just wanted peace and quiet and eat my food, I really wanted peace and quiet and eat my food. For sure, for sure. I hear that. You hear, but you're ignoring it. Um, so are you really hearing me, or are you just not listening? Just like, you just keep giving me more like... Are you hearing me, or are you not listening? Honestly, you just keep talking. So why do you keep talking? Why do I have to shut the f*** up? This is my table that I sat with my friend before you sat down. No, and guess what? Why did you sit down at a table with two girls when you don't know us? Oh, is that weird? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. I'm still enjoying it. Good for you. Thank you. Looking salty on camera. Not at all. Why? Do I look bad to you? You look miserable. You look beautiful. Thank you so much. You look miserable. Not at all. I'm actually really great. No, no, 100%. Like, she could definitely, like, pull off some, some nice, like, thing, whatever. But. But what? There are so many other seats for you to sit at. It's so 
crazy. Why are you so nasty? How am I nasty? I just want to sit and eat. Then yeah, do that. Just stop talking. I'm not talking to you. Who are you talking to? I'm not talking to you. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. talking to you? Yeah, I'm not interested in you anymore. Abby, is he talking to you? I'm not talking. Okay. You're not talking to me. That's all I needed to hear. Okay. Damn, you're such a turtle. Like, well, like, like how are you tell me something so I don't know. Tell me something I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Tell me something I don't know. I don't know what you mean, and I'm not gonna be. I've been wanting to shut the up, but you've been running your mouth, so I can't shut the up because you've been running your mouth. So I'm gonna run my mouth because you're running your mouth. So you've been talking to me? Yes, because you've been running your mouth. So you shut the up. I won't shut the up until you shut the up. Look at you. Why you shut not at all. But you can't shut But you keep running your mouth. Look at you. Just let her have the last word. I don't you don't need the last, last word. word. I, I really just want him to shut the f up no, and eat not, in peace. That's not winning, it's embarrassing. Come on, what? Our next main character is feuding with her mail delivery lady, and it all comes to a head here when she catches said delivery driver refusing to deliver her package because her driveway is apparently blocked. No, you're telling me you don't want to deliver my packages if there's cars in my driveway. I need to be able to pull up and How am I supposed to know when you're coming and not have cars in my driveway? Mama, Are you kidding me? Can you talk to her, please? While she's at my window hollering at me. Uh, I'll hear her. Because she was yelling at me. That's why I'm recording this I with my phone. I was yelling at you? Yes, you were. Really? You need to take that mail over to Calio because I am not dropping this. That's what you said. said I'm not with an attitude. Because it don't belong to me. You need to put it back None in the of box. this mail you belongs to me. Out of that's because fine. They need to but know then the person that's who's fine. There. And I said, okay, fine. And then you started to tell me um, that you can't you deliver. I can't pull up in the gate because there's a truck here. She told me I need to walk from the road. That's what she's saying. There is, no, there's no, room no, right no. there. There's room right there. You're telling me you can't drive right there. Watch out the way, so I can pull Go up. Go ahead. Look. So I gotta back up, right? I gotta back up, right? I don't know. You don't so know. You see, your truck is right here. Okay, then so you can't drive in up. the cul-de-sac and turn around? No, I'm supposed to be able to pull up in your gate properly. I'm posting this on the internet. I can't wait to put this. I am. Look, this is this is my driveway, people. Look, look, this is my driveway. You're on my property. Look, you're on my property, and you're telling me you can't get into my driveway. And you're telling me you're not going to deliver my package. This woman and her fellow passenger get into a fight with their Uber driver, and apparently this is after a contentious almost hour in the car together, and both the passenger and the driver contend that they've been treated poorly and disrespected by the other party. I'm very curious to see what you all make of this, and who you think is right. Keep it up, please keep it up. I will. Good, keep Respect it up. Respect is earned and deserved. Yeah, but you haven't right given none. Right Go now, go back to Respect is earned. And when are you going to give some, sir? I'm, I'm when? Sick, I'm sick and tired of I've you. been in this car for five, for, for 50 minutes. When have you respected me as a passenger? When? I got in here. I asked you, can you turn your music down? You turned the shit up even more. Nobody should have to ask you that. You feel so entitled. Yes, I feel entitled because I'm a passenger. You're a passenger, but this is And this is your job. It's not my job. It's your job. It's my car. I can kick you out of the car anytime I want to. Guess what? I don't work for anybody. Then you do whatever you need to do. I don't work for anybody. Please. I work for myself. Okay. Keep on. No, keep I can, can keep kick you out of It's my car. Okay. Please, see, no worries. Don't be quarreling with her. Please, just go. Go you like black this. Black Americans, you feel so entitled. Over what? The next right. Lazy as Ooh, yes, yeah. Go get some job. Mm -hmm. You like to live on welfare. My tax money is taking care of you equal if you don't know that. Mm -hmm. Keep it up. Bullshit. Yeah. If you're dealing with other persons, I'm don't f shit with me. I'll kick your ass. I need to no, kick I'm you too. Like this. this is Kali. Be first right. My God. You're crazy. Be first right here. Yeah. See, I'm on the phone. I'm following the GPS. And that's what the GPS is telling me to do. 
and I asked you why you on the phone to make a left turn. I am fully the you GPS. Wasn't, and I was so right, what? The GPS right. is wrong sometimes. That's why I'm up and paying attention so I can tell you which way to go. Um, if you have different issues, I'm not responsible for it. If you have issues, I'm not responsible for it. Hey, bro. How, how big yeah. am I? Yeah. How big am I? I don't care. That's oh, your no problem. Now. If you don't care. Oh, no. I can't stop in the inlet, dipshit. I can't stop in the inlet. I want to get my hands around your neck. Come on, meet me. Let's go, meet me. Let's go, pussy. Let's go, pussy. Turn that shit around. This woman almost left without too much of a fuss during a confrontation with the cashier, and it, of course, this is again because this woman, again, doesn't understand that cash refunds for card purchases is not how the world works, and never was, but Karen Supreme behind her in line has done this plenty of times before, and gives our antagonist line-by-line -line instructions on raising hell. I don't get paid as much as you think I do to put up with this. But I was what? My time is valuable too. So maybe you should find a good job. Maybe you should just be quiet for a moment. Don't tell me what to do. Ma'am, you want your refund? Yeah. Just be quiet and let me do it. I will be quiet. I'm going to get out of here. Please do not come back. I will okay, not come we back. will trespass you. Put your card in, please, right here. It goes back on your card. I cannot give cash refunds. Why are you going to trespass her? You being rude to the customer. What Thank you, you should do is get the store number and call the corporate office. The corporate office. Thank you. The corporate office. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I do. Don't nobody they deal with that. They won't call answer. Whatever. Corporate no, will answer. Answer. No, they won't answer, but you might not no, get what you need from this store, your but problem. stop at another McDonald's and um, ask for the corporate number. But you need her name. There you go. You can tell them on here. That's the only thing because I don't have a corporate phone number. And um, I don't have to give you money. But I did give you your refund. These two young dudes get approached by two other young dudes in a golf cart, they don't know each other, and essentially kicked off of this golf course for being, among other things, out of dress code and smoking cigarettes. Uh, and apparently also taking pictures of the other girls that were there. Anyway, I, I came away with the overwhelming feeling that everyone involved here is super cringy. Five, man. Really? He's been golfing a long time. I mean, you guys I've, look like golfers. I've seen him pretty long time. I mean, first off, you guys are breaking the dress code. Oh wait, there's a dress code here. Yeah, man. Oh shit, I didn't yeah. know. I smoke cigarettes too, you know. Yeah. Is, cigarettes has always is that been against part of the rules? Yeah, you guys asked too. those girls for cigarettes too. Yeah. He did. Yeah. Yeah, you thought they had some. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well you guys gotta go. At my okay. old club in Miami, I would always just come and then cigarettes would be ready for me. You know, I okay. would just smoke some darts. That's hilarious. Kick bro. the racket and then. You got Okay, we're going. You guys gotta go. We don't f with no hard drugs and shit. You know? Okay, well you guys gotta go. Okay. You can't be videotaping younger girls at all. I, I never got them in the you video. You can't be yet. on this golf course just around. It's like we're, private property. We weren't around though. What are you guys doing right now? We're, we're, we're just checking out the place. That's the we didn't do anything. Yeah, check right, the place. So yeah. Check out the place. You're gonna if you guys want us to leave, we can leave. That's fine. Absolutely, head out. Oh, okay. okay. All right. These two customers chastise the window workers for not being attentive enough, and the reaction that they get is absolutely incredible. This is a team-wide stone wall that seems to say, we've all done this before. I open up this window right here, I said, hey guys, and they're still sitting there having a conversation. And nobody oh, she opened the window. came back and said, hi, how may I help you? Oh. How may I help you? But we were standing here. It's a window. <laughs> she said it's a window. <laughs> you ready? No, that didn't. Wow. No, that didn't. Okay. You said you'll be ready when you tell us. What the? Are you the manager? Are you the manager, sir? Wait, that's not okay. Is he the manager? It is. Not, it's not, but I can't it's not okay. What's his name? What's his name? That's not okay. What's his name? That's not the okay. What's the manager's name, ma'am? Can you give us his name, please? I can, uh, Are you serious? I'm not, I'm not the manager. I'm I'm not said, what is, what is his name? What is his name? No, I want to know. Uh, what is his name? Ma'am, you're rude too, ma'am. What, what, what are their names? Like, yeah, I want both of them. Not it. 
This is not. A I want your name because I asked you for your manager's name. I can't give you my manager. Really? What policy is that? Because I'm gonna show this to the to the, the big time people. It's a, I I can help you. Okay. I can help you. No, okay. I want you to help I me. I want to talk to her for a minute. Okay. Ma'am. This guy heads back to a convenience store where only moments earlier one of his employees had been accused of stealing and made to empty his pockets in front of everyone, which is a pretty embarrassing thing to have happened to you. Both manager and employee seem very caught off guard. Hey, you the manager? Yeah. Yeah, my name's James Martin. Uh, that, one of the guys that works for me just got accused of stealing in here. And we're trying to figure out what, what the problem is. Because I mean, I was going to go ahead and call the check security cameras because the man was right with me. He didn't steal nothing. Okay, we're just, we're, one of the employees said that he had, she had, looked like he had something in his clutch that we were asking. About. Okay, have y'all called the cop yet or? No. Okay, uh, well, we'll do that. Um, but who's the employee that seen him steal something? Well, she, she said she had something. This lady right here? Yeah, he walked out with her. Okay, what's her name? Summer. Miss Summers? Summer. Summer. Summer? Yeah. Okay, I'll go over and talk to her real quick. Let me, uh, because I'll call her myself real fast just because I want to get that checked out. Good job. How you doing, buddy? All right, you? Good. Well, hi. I was at the 12th. Okay. Hi. Yes, I want to say, you want to see one of my employees stealing? Um, he came in like three or four times, and then he asked for the bathroom. Yes. And he came out and he had something. It looked like he had something. Probably holding up his pants. Well, did you see him take something? You sold, you had him to empty his pocket and stuff. I, Is that real? I'm sorry, I I'm, I didn't ask him or anything. I told somebody showed you. that I saw him what, what, looking like he was carrying a Well, dude, dude, I, I'm carrying a pocket knife and a wallet. Did you think that was necessary to check me? It's the way you left for okay, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not comfortable Look, now. here's the, here's the thing. You just, this man. You just freaking named me that I just accused somebody. I'm not okay with this. You need to back off, bro. I'll stand by the boss. Not a problem. Yeah. But anyway, with her accusing my employees, an issue. Now she just says she only did it because he had his hand like this. It looked like he had something in his jacket. Our next main character is furious that this hotel staff threw her clothes away that she had left behind uh, and she was coming back to get. But the comments on her upload seem to actually blame her for the incident and say she was the one being unreasonable instead. What do you think? That you threw my clothes away, yes or no? Yes. Hit it so your employee, I mean, your employee told she me on the phone. Been, okay, so just so I know, been. your employee told me on the phone yesterday, I assure you we'll keep your clothes until you come on the 15th or 16th. So you're saying on the 15th, you knew I was coming and you threw them away. I didn't know. I we didn't know. But did you? We didn't know. None of us But you're a housekeeper, we right? Yes. And you took my clothes I one by one and threw them house away. House no, we're not supposed to keep them that long. So how, you I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, don't you think it's a big coincidence? When, when you, don't you think we, it's we, a coincidence that on the 15th know. you threw my clothes um, away? It's a coincidence, all right, because we didn't know. Is it just a big coincidence that on the same day that I was coming to get them, you threw them away? She just start being just go on the, uh, go ahead and file the report and apologize, do whatever you want to do. And then this many we weeks we kept, she did not come. So until, not I'm not, I don't live here, sir. How can I come here? What can I do for that? Yeah, what can yeah, I do for that? Yeah. You're on camera. And for today's I Quit segment, uh, this Target slash Starbucks employee decided to make a big show at work when he resigned. And he seems like he had a whole like bit prepared for this beforehand. His management was not happy. Well, seems like it's unplugged. So, attention, Target shoppers. Consider this my grande exit. You see, I've been brewing up something more than thankless lattes and overpriced sugar water. My grande, <laughs> my grande plan to escape this wretched heat dungeon of soulless fluorescent lights and infant crying ambiance. But before I go, let's talk about your piss poor benefits policy. I mean, it's like ordering a large frappuccino with a double shot of disappointment. Sick time, vacation hours, ha! You'd be better off asking for unicorn tears. Well, how's this for a magical double shot? I quit. Call them. Mwah. No bars. Let's go. You haven't tried to understand what the f*** is going on before you have a comment. You do not understand any of this Do not. Do it. Yeah, exactly. But why? Do you understand what exactly? So do not come at me. Do not. Come on. Do not. Keep your f shut. Shut 
So the short, older gentleman here in the blue suit, he apparently called this guy in the black t-shirt and the black hat to come out and tow a lot of these guys' cars. But when he gets there and actually tries to do what he was called out to do, they all get up in his face and everything turns to chaos. Now that you are here without 15 people, this girl here, no, listen, Mohammed, please, please, this whole time, nobody, you have not given me a chance to explain what actually happened here. You're taking everyone's story. This first girl here came out with the other girl. They both got into the black car. The girl with the scarf, for some reason, got out. The other one got into the driver's seat, pulled the car right here. Oh, I asked her why she didn't have a driver's license. She doesn't know how to drive. Why did she get a 90 car next to a tow truck in the middle of a parking lot? Right. Why are they still there? Why is all this happening, Mohammed? I see what I'm asking you, so I get your point. This one's a doozy. So this woman hears banging on her front door at this apartment complex. She opens it up and this other lady is just screaming at her because apparently her car alarm had been going off all night. Now, obviously, yes, that's very annoying, but apparently she lives pretty deep in this complex and had no way of knowing that this was happening. So this woman being angry at her not necessarily reasonable you're lying y'all so this lady came to my came to my door telling me my car is going off right now she's calling the police going off all night. okay how will i know that you're a karen karen i found a karen guys i found a karen you sound stu stupid I can't wait till the police get here, bro. Because you're not going to sit here and harass me uh, for my like, car. I'm not harassing anybody. You are harassing me. You came to my door. You Okay. And you said it in the worst way you could possibly say it. Girl, bye. Is that the police? When I asked the door if that was her Hello? Are you the police? Come on. My name is Holly. Holly you can call me Hollywood. No, you ain't going to go, girl, bye. You ain't going to be there for me. Hi, how are you? Okay, so I live in 107 in the back right here. Okay. So if you stand in my room, I can get through, I can cut my alarm back home, you will not hear my alarm. And the only reason it would only reason it will go off is because it's really sensitive. I don't know if something hitting it, the tree is hitting it, but like if anything what hit it, my car alarm, okay. it was going off. I guess it was going off all night. 
and apparently it was unlocked. So I don't know if somebody was trying to get in there, but you know, it's a car. If, if somebody's trying to get in your car, it's going to go off. Mm -hmm. So, it's no, it's my white Acura. But, um, so I didn't, I can't hear it. Like, if you go in my room, I can't hear Jack. Like, I'm in the back. I can't hear nothing. Okay. She came to my door very hostile, saying hi. And, no, yeah, you did. Oh, oh, yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, you did. Anyways, um, yeah, you can't hear it. So she came to my door. She was like, is that your, is that your car going off? And I, my mom said no, because she didn't know, like, could my car ever go off? <laughs> um, then she was like, I was like, is it white Acura? Oh, yeah, mine. She was like, oh, well, can you cut it off? If she would say that, that's it, cool. She's like, it's been up 2 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, and you're doing disturbance. I'm going to call the police on you because, like, she's went off. She went off. I'm a very, like, I'm a young person. She the door okay. in my face. I signed the door in my okay. face because okay. you was yelling. Here's, here's, here's <laughs> I, it's a car. I'm the only one here right now, okay? Yeah. I don't need you guys talking to each other right now. I need to see to figure out. You. No, no, I got you. I got you. You're, you're fine. You're fine. But let me try to figure this out so that way I can help you instead of escalating further. You, you know what I'm trying to say? So just give me one second. Some people are just okay. like not. Okay. So, like so, you could, she could so, easily so, say, huh? Like I said, I'm here to keep the peace unless a crime occurred. Did did a crime occur? No. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. What cr my car okay. going off? I'm in the bed. I'm asleep. Like anything. Okay. okay. All right. Is it, is there anything else that you need to tell Why me? Why she still talking? No. I'm about to go talk to her is and that, figure out her no, side. No, of the I'm story. trying to figure out. Is like. Okay. Is a black. I don't want because she said something about being white, so I don't want to put no race in it. I'm not a race person. No, no, no I got you. Uh, yeah, um, so I don't like that. I don't so, like that. So, okay, I don't like so, that. So now that I got another officer here, if you don't mind going, I'll speak to him. okay. This next woman confronts an officer who has apparently been repeatedly blocking her driveway. But if you thought you were going to get him to admit he was wrong, think again. Okay, I'm gonna record this conversation. Because um, the state owns this property. I understand that. Okay. The state can own this property and it's still illegal for you to block the driveway. You guys actually, like a few times we've been late to work because we can't get out of our driveway. There's been a few times where people can't get into our driveway. I'm not trying to stop you from doing your job. I'm just actually trying to and be I able to live. husband has already talked That's to not my husband. Or whoever, your you dad. Don't make an assumption, no. Nope. I don't know. That's well, just my brother. Okay. Whoever has already talked to my sergeant about this, you guys keep coming out here, and that sign may be on state property. Um, I actually talked to the uh, uh, Madera Sheriff's Department about it. I talked to Caltrans. Sh uh, Sheriff's Department is the one who told me to put it there. I talked to Caltrans. Okay. Because they're the ones that know exactly how much easement we have. Okay, and that's okay. fine. So, I like I just don't understand why you guys are being so rude. Uh, we're not. You because the first person who talked to me yelled at me. I'm not yelling so, at you. Okay, but I'm not. I'm not yelling at you. This is. I'm having a polite the conversation first with person you. Set the tone, right? Mm -hmm. First person set the tone. That, uh, that's no. Don't. I'm a new person. Doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Set the tone. No, you're a police officer. It is your job to like do things for each civilian. I'm a totally new person. Treat me like a new person. I, this is what I've been doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. I tell people to move forward, not to block the party. Okay. No. But it's usually not them. It's usually one of you guys. Yes. Which is why I came down to have a polite conversation with you about it. Because I told them to move forward. Okay. Well, like I said, I do have this conversation on camera. I will be putting in a formal complaint. Hopefully we can work something out civilly without you guys being so... I, I just don't know. Power hungry? Uh, what 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 would you what would you call this, sir? I would call this the fact that we've been doing this for decades. So because you've been doing it decades, it makes it correct. It's again, Got you. Property. Thank you, sir. You have a wonderful day. Please remain unblocking our driveway. Thank you. Thank you. I'm being a little tough on our main characters today, but guys, we know that a card used for a purchase means a card is the only possible refund option. There's really no excuse for not knowing this by now, and also it sounds like this guy had no receipt on top of it. I do not want a gift card. I want uh, a refund in cash, please. He's giving us an option of a gift card or a debit card. 
I don't have three to ten days to wait on my refund. The law says you have to give your customers an option. I would really appreciate just get. I don't have to show you the law, ma'am. I know my rights. I just want my refund in cash. That's simple. That's simple. I've done it before. I can do it again. We can do only do that if it's under ten dollars. When it's over ten dollars, we can't. Based on your policy. Yes, sir. Not the law. Based on our policy, so that's what we have to do. Is what our policy is. But I'm going by law. I mean, you can go to a different Walmart, and maybe they'll do it. I didn't buy it from. I didn't buy it from a different Walmart. I bought it from this Walmart. I paid debt. I used my debit card, which is the same as cash. So I'm going to return. I'm going to refuse it right now. And what's your name? My name's Jeannie. I'm manager. And what's your name? I'm Michelle. It's right here. Thank you, Jenny and Michelle. And this is the Walmart in York County, South Carolina, everybody. Yes, sir. Thank you. You can leave now. Yeah, you can leave, right? We'll call the PD. So yesterday I spoke to Miss Michelle and Miss Janine, and we had a big argument, and there was a lot of flack. Uh, I talked to Brandon today. Uh, I guess he's going to talk to you guys or tell you guys the approval you need or whatever to do the cash refund. Mm -hmm. Um. He, we did talk with him, but would you pay for it on the card? Yes, ma'am. We talked with him, and he said that, because our procedure is, however it tells us to get the money back on here, mm -hmm. that's how we get it back. And he told us, well, he can't do anything about it if he doesn't allow us to get cash back. Is he still here? Yeah, he's still here, but I can try. You want to put your card in? Yeah, because he assured me that, no, I don't want to put my card in. I want cash refund. That was the whole point. Well, I can try to return it and let you know. Let's see what that is. Trying to find, I had the receipt. Yesterday I had it scanned into the app. Would it still be in the app? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just had the receipt walking in. Yeah, if you scan it into your app, it's still on Got something in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> really? I just put hands on them when I was coming up here to make sure I had them. But... And big old plot twist here at the end, he actually does manage to get a cash return for his debit purchase. That's our show for today. Thank you so much for tuning in as always. I hope you like and you subscribe and you do all that stuff that helps me out. Uh, and I'll leave you with a new song I'm working on.